Good morning, everybody, and welcome again to Empowering Morning Conversations. So today is your sharing day. And today is your Nari Shakti day, right? So we will have the session begin with sharing from the Naris, which means ladies, all right? Nara. Naras will keep quiet today until I ask them to speak. Okay. All right. So good morning, everybody. And let's welcome all the Nari Shakti on this group. And let me invite Shakti to start with whatever she wants to say. So now here's my request to everybody. When you speak, say something which will be a contribution to the whole group. And it will be in line with the philosophy of empowering morning conversations. So we don't want any religious discourses here. We want, you know, possibility conversations. And uh, well, so let's start with Nari Shakti number one. Her name is only Shakti. So we should have Shakti talking over here to begin with. <clears throat> so please go ahead, Shakti ji. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so to start the conversation, almost one and a half years I'm traveling with you. Uh, one and a half years before how I am. Now I am is like a 360, not 360, sir, 180 degree change, sir. <laughs> it's not 360, it's 180 degree change, sir. I was so shy to speak in public. I used to so much hesitation, a lot of distractor implants uh, I had in, uh, right now I'm clear still, it's in progress. But without your help, it's not at all possible, sir. And this, I'm so grateful to you introduce access to me. I'm using those tools and techniques. Uh, it's it's life changing one, sir. Uh, apart from that, even though I am learning a lot of tools and techniques, this EMC is helping me to be in track. Without this, it's not possible. Every day I'm coming here, it's reminding me, okay, I need to be in this track. Even, uh, even though I'm having a manual, everything, I'm not referring it. Once I'm coming here, then whatever the topics you are uh, taking, then I'm going and referring those chapters and then it's adding more value to me, this EMC. Grateful to you, sir, whatever you are doing. It's really, really life-changing for so many people. I'm one of them, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. All right. Thank you so much for your appreciation, Shakti. But I want you to also say, see, this is good and I'm very happy if you are going to shower me with appreciation. And when you say good things about EMC is good, it will encourage other people to join. So that's your contribution. But what else can you say this morning that will be a contribution to everybody? Uh, for me, it's like whatever you are teaching here. I mean, uh, just be in the question that itself, it's making a lot of difference. As soon as if you are waking up, you can ask the question, you can, who am I today? what glory and glory and adventurous I'm going to having today. That question itself making a lot of difference and then what else is possible? Be in that question, that's giving a lot of answers. Great, thank you. Thank you, Shakti. Okay, so who's next? So in the right, so next to Nari Shakti, which I want to invite is the Neetiji. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. Morning, morning. Um, so, uh, I think um, what I would like to talk about is uh, coming here, the biggest gain I have got is um, believing in the me cause versus the be cause. And um, there's only one point that I would like to elaborate over here. Many before I got into the more of the me cause mode, I always believed that me cause was a room with uh, a door that only opens from the outside and does not open from the inside. It was like going into the unknown sphere with no option of return. But as I started getting into it, what I realized was um, me cause is a sphere that I create for myself because I believe in it and I have my achievements coming from it. So it is not a sphere or a space of unknown. It is a space that I create with my own hands, with my own thoughts, with my own activities. And it is very giving and very rewarding. Uh, it is uh, not 
anything to be scared of. It is something that I am evolving and changing and growing on a daily basis. And that is the most comforting thing. It is a step towards the onward journey in spiritualism and in meditation and in positive thinking and positive living. So uh, my only um, share today with everybody is if anybody has the slightest fear in the, that me cause mode, please shed it. It is only our own inhibitions. It's a wonderful phase to be in. Thank you. All right, Niti, a little bit of, see, there are many people who might be watching or listening who do not know the distinction between this because and me cause. So can you say something about that also? Yes, sir. I want to hear your uh, version of it. Because is uh, a very convenient um, uh, uh, mode of living where or we uh, mm -hmm. give up doing something or we stop in our activities uh, just to put the blame on what the situation is and hence we cannot complete it because there is a delay, I cannot complete my project because there is this problem, I cannot go and attend the event because I have this responsibility, I cannot do that in life because I have to look after this, I cannot pursue my dreams because, 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 because there's no end to it. Every day basis, we come across it. Any work we do in office or at home or in our own lives, because of my schedules, I don't find time to exercise and look after my health. These are all the becauses. And because is, if I don't do it for myself, who will? If I cannot be responsible for myself, how can I be responsible for anybody else? If I cannot make it happen for myself, who will make it happen? I know how I can adjust things to make a little space for myself, starting with, you know, maybe two minutes uh, or even 30 seconds if we begin with, uh, or even those 10 seconds, uh, a 10 second um, a breathing exercise or a 10 second meditation and slowly build it up to a 30 second to a two minutes to a five minutes to a 15 minutes. And then, you know, one begins to see how we can create the opportunity for our own, for our own selves and do what we aspire to do and do what is also required for us to do. Because when we get into, when I started getting into the me cause mode more and more, I realized the power of now and how I'm being able to attend to the now factor in my life. And uh, that is where the achievements begin to happen. That is where the positive, positivity in life begins to return. And that is when I started seeing new opportunities and new ways of doing the same old things. Uh, so it is not... Um, it's it's a very expansive state. It's a uh, it's a state of being free, and it's a state of being um, um, self disciplined, and a state of being um, able to uphold and deliver more than what uh, I initially thought I was capable of. So suddenly, instead of handling twenty things, I see myself handling probably thirty five things. But then I have time for everything, and I am not cribbing about any of those thirty five things. So that's what the reward is and maybe somewhere down the line the numbers will increase and the, it'll change but uh, it is being more in the expansive state in allowance to let life come to me in its full form and I am ready to take on the life and live it positive, positively that is what we cause this for mm -hmm. me. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for sharing that and let's have Haseena Ji. So please, could you excuse me? Now, I'm not in the state of mind of sharing. I'm just coming here to pass. Listen to everybody today, please. Okay, so this is a good example of the because mode. And we will definitely yeah. honor your wishes. Thank you. Yes, Lena Ji. Lena. May I request you to share your contribution this morning to the group? All right, so Lena is probably not near the laptop right now. So Pooja, would you share your contribution to this group this morning? Sir, anything I would like to share or is there any specific question uh, because I joined a little late? 
Yeah, so it's very specific that anything you want to say that will contribute to this group in line with the philosophy of this group and no religious discourses and all that. But anything else you want to say that will be a contribution to every participant over here. And you have a lot to contribute, I know that. Uh, thank you, sir. So uh, I found that whatever happened to our life or uh, whatever the situation, I mean, unless and until we take full responsibility of it, we keep on uh, blaming people, situation and things, right? Like Neetiji said, like me cause and we cause. So like the energy you are in right now. So we are the source. The way we are, whatever the thoughts we are holding in ourselves, whatever the emotions we are holding in ourselves, and whatever the energy we are right now. So the world is really uh, reflecting to that energy. I'm the source. So we need to take 100% responsibility of our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions. Maybe there are situations, but what we are repeating in our head, creating more of it. What we are feeling in our body and mind, creating more of it. So world is our reflection. If we feel that somebody is not respecting us, we need to see where I am not respecting myself. If we see uh, that, uh, I mean, the situation and people coming to help you, to realize you, what you need to learn and grow, where you are not being responsible for this and where you are not operating from uh, Maybe you are operating from lack. Maybe you are operating from lack of love. Maybe you are operating from nobody understands me. So we need to listen to what we say to ourselves. Our word is very much important. Our thoughts are very much important. So whatever we are uh, conveying to ourselves whole day, we need to wash that. And better if we can write and we can shift that. The moment you are going to shift inside, you will see the people around you going to shift. Situation around you going to shift. The, the whole work we need to do. Rather, at times we try to fix others. We try to fix situation. So um, the more inner work we do, the world around us will resonate to it. That's what Great. we want. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, so all the Nari Shakti is done with what they have to say. So let us have a word from the Nar Shakti. So we'll start with Reddy Garu. Good morning, sir. Uh, my, whatever my observed myself is, uh, all the while I'm 65 years old, I never thought about myself or what exactly I want. I'm just living with the flow. Uh, I have not uh, dealt with my inner soul. So my uh, suggestion to everyone is live for yourself, live for the moment. That's all, sir. All right, thank you very much. And uh, let's listen to Ratanji and listen to his Discourse or uh, to say. Yeah, and, uh, and the discourse will come on uh, Sunday the 12th. Uh, and uh, I, I think that this, uh, the topic could be disruptive discourse. You know, shake your foundation. So something on that, I'm still working on it. Have you gone and done the so, foundation program in the meantime? No, I, I don't want to do it. That's my choice. Okay, okay. I thought you've done it. That's why you're talking about shaking the... No, no the, the general general foundation, general thinking of people. Okay. okay. That, that's all I, I want to say today. Okay. Okay, then let's have Ashok Ji. Ashok Ji. What would you like to say to everybody today? I, I cannot come on the uh, camera. It's all right. You don't camera. have to come on video. Many, many times we 
we we have not understood ourselves we are victims of the situation victims of the impressions victim of the comments made by everybody else in the society so first purpose of emc is to know ourselves who am i why am i and is, are these the limitations in which i am supposed to work or can i have my own independence and there were that because because and so many things they come in and we understand that the nature or the god or this universe is very very kind it looks after ourselves it, it it wants to help us to come forward make ourselves independent in everything but because because we are influenced by our friends parents situations and many things we are not able to achieve what we want and emc every morning tells us that look you are the best you know everything and remember that we we are self sufficient and complete in every respect so just do not bother about what everybody else says or tries to compromise your living be independent and be yourself so that you have peace of mind and you achieve what you want that that, that is the purpose i think emc is and i am with emc for last more than a year thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you ashok ji and let's have abhinav and his contribution to everybody this morning well i just want to uh, I, i can talk about the contribution emc has made to me okay whatever you want to say yeah so uh, you know i have always registered ki mujhe ko buddhu na bana de i should not be nobody should cheat me nobody should make a fool out of me i have always always all my life registered that so uh, so i may be very helpful with all my friends and all the people i know but i was not helpful towards strangers so uh, if i somebody on the street needs my help so i will just avoid them and something like that happened yesterday also you know i had a, a early dinner kind of a meeting with someone and as i moved out of the restaurant there was this husband wife and two with their two children asking for my support we were like they look from lower middle class are hum hum ya we have we came from nagpur and we have stuck up here and we don't have money to eat and दो भी है मनी टू गो बैक टिकट है बट खाने का नहीं होता कुछ ना नॉर्मली आई जस्ट डोंट फॉर मी सच पीपल डोंट एग्जिस्ट आई जस्ट डोंट लिसन टू बिकॉज आई थिंक ये तो चीट ही कर रहे होंगे बट यस्टरडे फर्स्ट टाइम आई थॉट कि या तो ये चीट कर रहे हैं लेकिन ऑथेंटिक भी तो हो सकता है इससे पहले यू नो आई नेवर यूज टू हेल्प एनी बडी ऑन द स्ट्रीट एंड आई थॉट की ओके क्या फर्क पड़ता सो आई डिड बाय यू नो लाइक इन फैक्ट आई आई हैड नो कैश बिकॉज आई ऑल यू नो यूज क्रेडिट कार्ड और डेबिट कार्ड सो आई हैड एक्चुअली नो कैश सो सो द पर्सन आई वाज विद यू नो ही एक्चुअली परचेज्ड समथिंग फ्रॉम द स्ट्रीट एंड सम फूड फ्रॉम द स्ट्रीट एंड गेव इट टू देम एंड एंड आई लाइक आई हैव बीन थिंकिंग दैट यू नो व्हाट इफ व्हाट इफ व्हाट इफ व्हाट इफ दे वर जेन्युइन they were genuinely hungry people and I, and and then i started thinking about this in my life you know you know there's so many people i can support and i say you know they deserve it like one of them is my co brother and uh, he's out of job and so somebody who was in abroad and doing exceptionally well and he now you know struggling in his life and i was not helping him so i don't intend to help him financially but i can definitely help to find a job for him that is my as you know my expertise and i decided that i'm going to help go all out and help him and not i will not be the god who will say ki uh, he deserves it or oh, let the god decide uh, you know let the nature and the god decide what he deserves it or deserve I, as a human being as a relative as a friend i will do what uh, is the right thing to do for me now so i'm very clear i will help him find a job yeah. so that's what i want to do Okay very good thank you very much and let's have rama 
and then Vitrivel, and then Conan, in that order. <clears throat> okay, Rama seems to be busy, so we will ask uh, Vitrivel. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I would like to say that uh, to enjoy the benefit or freshness or the outcome of the day, you should wake up from the sleep. Like you have to come out from the night. Like that, if you want to create something, if you want to achieve something, if you want to change something in life, you have to work on awareness. You have to aware. It's like coming out from the sleep. Exactly the same work is happening in EMC. And I would like to refer something. Any amount of study you learning, you do about subject will add up to the knowledge. But when you do some studies or learning about subject of the consciousness, you transform, you change. It changes you. That is a beautiful thing that's happening here. And all I can say is you are in the right place. And one quick example I'll say, and I'll pass the mic. I told this one to one of the co-student in Vipassana. That guy was, seems to be not getting the things, but he's going through, but has got some doubt in the mind. He's in the process. I told him, don't think too much. Just trust the process, go ahead. You are here, you are learning this, you are doing this because Silently, without telling anybody, your mother would have prayed for this. My sons would get like this. So just trust the process. Go ahead, and you will be there where you want to go. That's the point. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Kunen, uh, with your permission, I'm going to ask Milanji to share first. Yeah, Milanji, go ahead. I can see your hand raised. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning. EMC has taught me in face, succinctly in one word, and this is what actually has been my capital. And uh, actually it has got me, it, it, it has read me of all my cycles of fear, uh, judgment, me cause, be cause, whatever. And, and, and it has learned me to live life in the way I've been, I liked. And this is what I'm grateful to MC for this. Thank you. All right. Anything else you want to say to the group, which will be a contribution to them? I mean, your thanks and appreciation are deeply appreciated. Thank you so much, Melanji. Anything else you want to say to everybody, which will, from your repertoire of knowledge, you know? Live, live your life, be in the present, and just do it. That's it. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Yes, Kunen. Thank you, sir, and very good morning to you and uh, one and all. I would like to add on to this conversation. Yes, we all got uh, many things from empowering morning conversations with uh, Sukhdeepak Malway. And I believe that uh, uh, Sukhdeepak, sir, has played a role of uh, friend or mentor or coach whatsoever uh, the word or label you'd like to give. He, he showed us the possibility of future. And uh, he let us believe that it can be obtained. It is possible to achieve. That's what has happened with me. And uh, my contribution to the group today would be is to the purpose of our life we all have realized is uh, self-transformation. We all got conditioned, but through empowering morning conversation, having conversation with Sukhdeepak Malway, definitely we have got some transformation a bit. Now, it is our responsibility to transform others, to carry forward and ensure that whatsoever we have learned or whatsoever we have got it, we don't keep it to ourselves. Let's keep on passing on and keep on 
changes or transformation in the lives of others who are around us so that this legacy will continue so thank you so much sir for all your time efforts may god bless you stay safe stay blessed back to you sir thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and then who else gautam badra would you like to contribute something to this group okay before that let's have our young enthusiastic friend that is sagar before we ask uh, sagar acharya please go ahead good morning sir and good morning one and all i think uh, this may be very helpful for everybody uh, those who want to live life with uh, ease and life with glory and joyfully i think uh, as a human being as as we are we all are connected we all are one but uh, what because of the point of view we have uh, about ourselves and we pick up the point of view from others that we feel same of being one self and this create division between one self and with the whole humanity so i think to live without any division with anybody because anything that is happening with you, with you is happening with other also so i think living a life without any point of view of other and yourself and being you is one of the most important thing to have in our life thank you sir thank you that's wonderful thank you very very much yes gautam bhai yeah you have to unmute yourself first suprabhat good morning to everybody good morning, uh, good morning. you in this forum what i learned that is a how to develop my mind power uh, we are having uh, both the conscious and subconscious mind and when we are coming in the morning 7 to 8 discussing uh, all this detail i found that is so when i am going back to work i am starting my days with the ease joy and glory uh, i want to say, i i am very grateful to uh, the guru and this uh, activity especially when i met sagar at uh, kathmandu uh, during my trip to uh, nepal sagar of course uh, july again i am coming he took us to a place where there is a group of five six people one lady was there and discussing about the humanity so many things so subject which uh, improved the uh, mind strength of uh, me that is i am grateful to everybody uh and uh, i may i'll be in touch with you uh, still i continue thank you sir thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you all right who else what is going to be your contribution to this forum today uh, we can have priya and then we have vandana more of the nari power in action Go ahead, Puna, Priya. First, Priya. You will have to speak louder and clearer. We cannot hear anything. Sorry, Priya, we can't hear you. All right, so you can. Am I audible? What? No. I think your microphone is not properly fitted. Let it be. We will, in the meantime. Is it clear now? Yes, it is. Now it is clear. Okay. So one thing that I learned in few days is that uh, if a person, what I expect, is not doing, I um. i dislike you no know, dislike that action and then i just stop liking that person for whatever he or she is doing so uh instead of seeing what actions they did jo aapko pasand nahi aaye aur aap unke bare mein judgment karte hain aur bahut zyada negative thoughts aa jate hain we should see ki is there anything 
positive in that and how can i learn from that experience and move on this is what i would like to say wonderful wonderful then uh, we have malika ji and then we have vandana malika ji what can you say to this group that will contribute to everybody Uh, listening to listening to everyone that is uh, first thing that is uh, whatever they say try try to understand with the same uh, meaning referring with the same uh, meaning that's what uh, is my first uh, contribution to this and sec uh, second is trying to come every day and listening to everyone that mm -hmm. is what All right, great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, Vandana. And what would you like to tell us this morning? Okay, so let's go back to Rama. Rama, uh, we were waiting for your contribution to this group. So if you're there, please unmute yourself. and share whatever it is that you wish to share with us okay never mind then rama is not speaking so gandhi ji aap kya kehna chahte hain so first to thank for you join me emc emc daily my routine part of my life emc program uh we start the wake up i uh, first i pray the god second yoga third uh, join the ems emc after breakfast and part of my life and the daily i collect the maximum total members experience very good for my life daily my uh, try listening and learning every member is very good very good or uh, maximum useful for my life great thank you sir thank you very much and leena ji all the way from bhopal what do you want to say to this group this morning yes sir good morning good morning everyone so uh, this emc has done wonders to me actually and lots and lots of tools you are given to us but uh, it's up to me how much i can use it uh, but uh, i can tell you that now i think that i am living my life on my terms and it's a wonderful feeling so thank you so much you know that is wonderful that is your thanks to us and your appreciation to us but other than that what uh -huh. would you like to contribute to this group this morning any insight any learning that you wish to share with us that will make a big difference to everybody else aap apni taraf se kya arpit karna chahti hain so sir i will recommend everyone not to leave this group <laughs> <laughs> that's all okay thank Fine. you and now how no how come you didn't say i would recommend everyone bring all your friends and family to this group <laughs> लेकिन uh i won't say my contribution but i will say my take away okay uh, yeah yeah in fact uh, uh may, many problems which come to our life are because of our reaction so what i learned from you and from some of the dialogue uh, discussions that instead of reacting immediately you respond the word respond is better than the reaction and then give it pause the time before reacting or before responding you you will be saving many problems because you unnecessarily 
great to yourself because of your immediate reaction. And that reaction, if I give time, think over it, and then respond. Whatever way the best is, I think I'll be able to solve, or I have been able to solve many of my unnecessary problems, which we create ourselves because of our reaction, not because of other reaction, but my reaction. So my reaction is converted into respond. And in respond, I give some time and pause. That's what I was told in uh, some of the discussion group. I think this is very helpful and this can be tried. And your examples, generally one good point I found, you have been giving practical examples also, which makes you easy to understand what are uh, your problems as well as solutions. Thank you so much. So nice of you. Brother Sahib, where do you live? Where are you from? I am in the USA, in California, with my daughter. Okay. But otherwise, I live in Bombay. Oh, you are from Bombay. Very good. Then you will meet when you come. Thank you, thank you. Now, you are going to be in the morning. It's good. 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 Have a nice trip in the US. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I have one uh, thing today to say to everybody. What is that one thing in your life that you resist? What is that one thing in your life you're resisting? Because if that thing is something that you do, you will have the biggest breakthrough of your life. Yes, ready, Garu. And then Shakti, Garu. Stop judging. What are you resisting, I'm saying? You always stop judging, sir. So you are resisting judging? Yes, sir. So if you stop judging, you'll have the biggest breakthrough of your life? Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Thank you so much. What about you, Shakti? Being vulnerable, sir. You are resisting being vulnerable. Yes. So what does what does being vulnerable mean to you that you are resisting it? Sorry, sir. It's okay. What does it mean to you? What does being vulnerable mean to you? What is it that you're not doing because you are resisting being vulnerable? The things you're not doing, right? You will have to yes. be vulnerable if you have to do I'm that. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Okay. I'm not 100% true. Okay. I'm not sharing my emotions. I'm not expressing myself 100%. Yeah. So there are many people who do that, isn't it? Of not of resisting being vulnerable and therefore sometimes they don't listen to the opinions of others. They hold on to their own opinion. They hold on to their own judgment. And they are not listening to listening even. So how does that deprive them of uh, possibilities and how does that deprive them? See, suppose a person is not listening because they want to hold on to their point of view, right? That's one of the ways in which we are being unvulnerable. No, I'm not going to listen to anyone. What I think is the only correct thing. I have decided and that's the way it is. You know? This is all the symptoms of somebody who does not want to be vulnerable. A lot of people don't listen because they think that if I listen, I'll have to do what they're telling me to do. Correct? Now, because you are resisting being vulnerable, you will also be doubting the intention of others. Yes, sometimes. You will be saying something which is nice to for you, you know? Like somebody yes. says, hey, Shakti, why don't you do this? And Shakti is saying, no. What is the advantage that fellow is getting out of it? Why is he telling me? How can somebody tell me about my benefit? They must be getting something. So I will not do. All these are the symptoms of trying to be invulnerable. Because we resist being open and vulnerable. Right? So can you yeah. reflect for a moment and see what else you may be doing because you do not want to be vulnerable? After that, Gautam Ji, I have seen your hand raised. I will ask you also. Uh, I'm judging people. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, it's I'm limiting. I'm limiting uh, the possibilities. Yeah. I'm so much uh, boundary to only uh, limited people and limited possibilities. 
Yep. So limited people, limited possibilities. <clears throat> Interesting, no? Because you don't want to be vulnerable, you will judge. Yes. Because you want to know whether it, this is safe to trust this person or not, is he trustworthy or not, blah, blah, all the judgment game. Okay. What yes. else do you think? Correct. Gautam went away only. Uh, I'm not in present mode, sir. Because you are trying to be invulnerable. Yes. Yeah. So being vulnerable can mean letting go. Yeah. Like in all religions, they'll say surrender. You know, surrender means letting go. Surrender means being vulnerable. And we all resist that. Because surrendering is like dying, no? So tell me, which brain, uh, brain number one or brain number two is active when you are resisting being vulnerable? Brain number two. Brain number two. Right? And what is the job of brain number two? Always to assess, is this safe or not? Is this safe or not? Is it safe or not? Right? And isn't it so strange that there are many people who have nothing to lose, right? See, younger person may have life to lose. Very old person doesn't even have that to lose. Still, they don't want to be vulnerable. Everybody wants to receive the energy of the God and they want to get it without being open to receive it. Interesting, no? All right, thank you very much. Yes, Gautam ji, you wanted to say something Unfortunately, you disappeared and you're back here. I got disconnected. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, I, I understand. So please go ahead. Thank you very much to give me the opportunity. Number one, uh, it is a, you are rightly told that vulnerability and uh, I am very much uh, in vulnerable life. But as I am sales marketing person, I, would, I don't know why this my, I cannot blame anybody. I, it is a me, me cause. I'm uh, not vulnerable. I have uh, the same thing. If somebody is giving suggestion I like that, some proposal, business proposal, I like that. I start thinking that is whether you say proposal is correct or not. If I invest money, I'll get the uh, benefit or not, like that. And uh, this uh, make me very much uh, uh, fickle minded or like that. Start thinking, start going on one direction. Then uh, this vulnerability due to the no, <laughs> problem of the vulnerability, I get distracted. Yep. And how many things you'll be cutting out? You know, how many possibilities would be lost to you? After that, I realized that I lost the opportunity, possibility. And that time it is already gone from hand. Exactly. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. Okay. So now here's something I want to say to you. We are judging. Definitely. You know that. I know that. Right. And we are judging for our protection, we will say. That's, that's the purpose of judging anyhow. Either you want to judge or you want to avoid the judgment of others. Isn't that so? So many things in your life you could cut out, even though you might have the means and the time to do them, but you will simply close it off because you wish to listen to something. And like, you know, beautiful thing um, Abhinav was saying, he's very good and open with uh, near and dear ones, but he's not open to strangers or those who look like strangers. So why would we do things like that? I have a point of view. See, my point of view is when we look at other people, we are looking at them through our own filter of the way we see ourselves. We think that the way I am, everybody must be like that only, which may not be true. But that's the conditioning of human beings. You know, the way you see yourself, the way you see yourself, in other words, the way you judge yourself is the way you see others. You judge people the same way because your yardstick is you. Aapka standard aap hi ho. And the way you treat, the way you treat, uh, see others is the way you treat others. 
and the way you treat others is the way they treat you. So it's like a chakra review. As you give, you are receiving. So if we are living our life in such a way that we are creating all around us no possibility relationships. In fact, we are pushing away relationships. There may be very few people left in our life with whom you can relate with. So the question to ask yourself is, are you limiting yourself or are you expanding yourself? Now, in my life, I've seen many people who are seekers, you know. You know what is a seeker? What is a seeker? Conan, who's a seeker? All of us in this group, by the way, we are seekers. What are we seeking? Seekers of truth. Okay. What else you might be, all right, let's have some other point of view. What are the seekers seeking? Why do we go after religion and go to this discourse and that discourse and read this book and that book and all that? For what purpose? Seeking For happiness. potential and possibility. Happiness. For happiness. Mm -hmm. One by one. I think Ratanji wants to speak. Let's listen to him. Uh, yes. Just one sentence. Uh, what we are seeking is seeking us also. That is very nice and uh, very zen kind of answer which you've given. Thank you so much. But what are we really seeking? Sir, liberation. Liberation. Wow, wow. Liberation. What else are we seeking? Seeking Bhagna. Okay. Can you repeat that again? Bhagna, Bhagna. Bhagna? Seek a pala hota hai, seeking magna. Seeker wo hota hai jo talash mein nikla hua hai. Seeking, uh, I see. Yes, Abhinav. Moksha in Kapti. Kya? How to get moksha? Are you yeah. <laughs> Sir, we want to know ourselves who we are. We want to connect with our true self. और आपको पता है कि लोगों को मोक्ष मरने के बाद में नहीं मिलता कई बारी तो छोटा सा आता है मेरे को स्टोरी सारी इसकी नहीं मोक्ष मिल सकता है मौत से बिकॉज़ उस वक्त आपकी सारी वल्नरेबिलिटी खत्म हो जाती है ना अभी क्या प्रोटेक्शन करने का है इज नथिंग टू प्रोटेक्ट एट दैट पॉइंट राइट मीन व्हाई कांट यू हैव मोक्षा व्हाइल यू आर अलाइव बिकॉज़ मोक्ष इज मे बी अ स्टेट ऑफ माइंड नो मे बी अ स्टेट ऑफ बी Small children are already having the moksha. Maybe. So anyway, yes, coming sir. Yes, very well. Sir, I have a quick doubt. Uh, if I say I have 100% vulnerability, then I am entering the gate of moksha. Can I understand that way? Seems to me. Without that, can you? No. Thank you. Thank you. That's why they call it doing tapasya. You know, tapas means to burn, no? Okay. Okay. Sir, Got it, sir. Thank uh, you. Sir, so, but do you notice one thing? We want to get this whatever moksha or whatever it is that we are asking for. Can you get it if you are going to be closing yourself with your judgments and you know opinions and wanting everything to be the way you like? Can it happen? Yes. No. Sagar ji, batayin. Sir, actually we all are seeking is dissolution, forgetting ourselves. So can you say more about it? Sir, I think, you know, uh, I think we have my, I have my image of Sagar and uh, somebody have image of Ram, Sita and uh, it is so torturous uh, sometimes it is so hurting sometimes or sometimes it is maybe some happy you know as a Gautam Buddha he was very happy everything but he was seeking what he was actually means we are nothing but nothing <laughs> am I? So, yeah. nothing so I think we all want to we are seeking for dissolution forgetting ourselves see nothing is two words no no thing no thing no thing. I am not Right. Sir. See, if you look at the way we are living our life, we have made ourselves one thing. I am a human. I am my own thoughts. I am my own thoughts. I am 
ये मैं हूं सो आई हैव कन्वर्टेड माई सेल्फ इन टू अ थिंग विच आई एम अंफिनिट बींग इंफिनिट बींग हैज नो शेप एंड फॉर्म राइट ही कैन बी एनी थिंग बट इफ यू बिकम समथिंग कैन यू बिकम एनी थिंग नो सर सी एंड दैट सो वेन यू आर नॉट बींग वलरेबल वट आर यू डूइंग यू आर प्रिजर्विंग दिस थिंग विच यू हैव बिकम यस सर यस सर को प्रिजर्व करने के लिए हम जजमेंट करते हैं ना यस सर जो निराकार चीज का आकार बना दिया हमने हम उसको प्रोटेक्ट कर रहे राइट सर दिस इज ऑल वी आर ट्राइंग टू डिसॉल्व बट इन डिफरेंट वे सो हाउ सिंपल इट इज इफ वी वर टू गिव अप जजिंग आवर सेल्फ्स एंड अदर्स देन यू कुड बी मोर वल्नरेबल राइट बिकॉज़ इफ यू आर द ओनली वे यू विल बी वल्नरेबल इज बाय ट्रस्टिंग ट्रस्टिंग हु All of us say, "Oh, I believe in God." You know, I pray to the God every day. Ye hai, wo hai. I go to the temple. I go and visit holy people. All that I do, but then I don't trust God. If I trust God, what is the problem? Being vulnerable, He will take care. No. And I'm speaking from experience. Huh? Out of my thirty-five year journey of this consciousness, at least for fifteen years, I have just given up. trying to protect anything trying to be safe totally vulnerable and my friends and family said are you mad i said no i will be looked after and i was whenever we lose that trust in the almighty no then we start thinking usne aisa kyun bola usne aisa kyun bola acha acha usne aisa bola tha that time we know that we are not being vulnerable are you getting it we are trying to protect something so i am not saying protection is good or bad or something agar koi aadmi churi leke aa raha hai aapko marne ke liye theek hai you have you might have to protect right i am not talking about that kind of protection people have gone to that level also ke okay the almighty will take care of me and such people are not attacked also If you read the story of Gautam Buddha, the horrible people sometimes came to attack him also, and they went away without attacking him because they saw the energy over there. That is the energy we will get when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, na? So coming back to the topic, whatever it is in life, I'll repeat that whatever it is in life that we are resisting, if we do that, it will give us the breakthrough, the biggest breakthrough of our life. so make a list of the things that you are resisting things that you are resisting to do things you are resisting to be things you are resisting to hear things you are people who are you are resisting to be with make a list of that and try it out when you are able to do or be or have the things that you are resisting the greatest breakthroughs of your life might come from there so look at that you will find that quite disruptive by the way when you do it but you notice something that we don't want to disrupt you cannot be vulnerable without being without disrupting your way of thinking can you do that you can't you cannot do it unless you disrupt your i know this and i know and i know i know i know and Right. So, do you guys want to have a breakthrough in your life? Do you want to have a life that you can't even imagine? Yes, Malika ji. No, I just wanted to know what is vulnerable. Vulnerable. Because in get it is yes, sir. Vulnerable. Vulnerable means you don't have to defend your point of view. You don't have to defend your opinion. You are open to listening. You are open to sharing. there is nothing to protect when you are protecting yourself you are contractive if you are not protecting you are expansive so there are many ways in which you are being invulnerable no okay so just check and see in your own life how is it that you are how many of the things uh, you know we are doing ma'am just for our protection of our point of view you know point of view our drishtikona our opinion our beliefs all these are for protecting something which we have become but are we a thing we are no thing 
It's something which is a no thing, it can become anything. So it has not to fear anybody or anything. And all it needs is a complete and absolute faith in the Almighty. Right? Because he okay. looks at it. Okay. So there are many viewpoints and many ways of looking at it. I think it starts by being open. Being open. It starts by trusting people. At least you can trust the people who you know are your well wishers. Okay. Isn't it? And, uh, one more. Yes, yes, I agree, sir. And uh, I have one more question because in the dictionary it is given us uh, getting prepared to be wounded. <laughs> that is what? That physically yes, and mentally. That is very correct. Yeah. Being prepared to be wounded. Because if your point yeah. of view is written, you will feel wounded only, no? Yeah. yeah sometimes you and, know, uh, oh my God, yeah. I was so wrong. You will be wounded only. You know, all my life I believed I was right about something. Oh my God, I was wrong. Everything that I believed was a lie. I was wrong. It's a it's a wound, no? You know, the yes. biggest wounds are not the physical wounds. The biggest wounds are the wounds that we get here when we realize what nonsense we've been doing in our life and how we are driving people away from our life, how we have limited our life, how we have made our life small. That's the biggest wound, no? To realize that. Yeah. How I have pushed people away in my life. Yes. How many people who loved me are pushed away because of what I'm doing? True, true, sir. You know, that is a wound, no? And I wish we get wounded that way. So we'll have some realization. And by the way, that is why it is called tapas. Tapas seya. You know? Because you are burning it away. And when you burn, it hurts. Yes. We want to be hurt, no? We've got to be right or wrong. Yeah, we want to hold on to our point of view. So it's not right or wrong, right? It's whatever it is that you choose in your life. You choose a path of contraction, it's up to you. You choose a path of growth, that's up to you. You know, we are here in morning conversations so that we can look at possibilities. Now, whether you want to choose those possibilities or not is always your choice, right? Correct. You say that, no, sir, I've come into this world to battle with it. So battle it is going to be. Still I'm coming every morning because I want a life of ease, joy and glory. Yes. How can you have ease and joy and glory if you're putting yourself to possibilities? So mm -hmm. I thought I'll pop into your head so that great breakthroughs will happen in your life and my life because we are all in it together. Don't forget that we are all in it together. Together. Losing, we are all losing. So just yes. to remind you that I love you, I honor you, I cherish you, right? Even though I might be a very, uh, what shall I say, irritating fellow from time to time, because my job is to poke you. Because if I don't poke you, you will keep being the way you are always. And I don't mind if somebody pokes me too. Yesterday I was talking to someone and they said, Sir, you are judging yourself. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, sorry. You know, so it's not like somebody is on a higher position or something. Yes, sir. Milan. Sir, one more, one more question shall I ask? Uh, sir? After, after Milan. Time is getting over. Oh. Sir, sir, I have got a very specific question to you. Yes, what, sir. Is, what is your lesson from EMC, sir? And what is it that you have to tell us in Sassing? Though you have told us in, in so many words everything, but I want to hear today after we have said what is it that you would like to tell us very, very succinctly and briefly? Thank you. Succinctly and briefly. Any other adjective to qualify that also? <laughs> See, Milanji, every morning when I come and talk to you, no, it's based on a realization that I've had in the oh. night or early in the morning. Okay? So what I'm sharing, see, it's not some stuff which I've mugged up and come and I'm regurgitating over here. You know, like a lot of people learn stuff and then they come and vomit it out. I've also been doing that for a long time. But I found more power in, and this is something I learned many years ago. When you do something, you experience it, and the insight you get out of that, that is the best thing to share. 
So, so many things. You know, when I'm pushing your buttons, my buttons are getting pushed too. Right? As I'm talking to you and I'm talking about judgment, I'm realizing how much I still may be judging people. Okay? And judging situations. Right, that is the reason I talk so much about judging, judgment because this is a disease which creeps in so insidiously, you never even know that it's crept in. You know, so when you see it reflected in others, you realize, shit, man, I'm also doing the same thing. You know, yeah. and oftentimes that thought comes in my mind, hey, listen, Sukhdeepak, when is it going to stop? I don't know who I have. So when is that judgment going to stop? So the more I'm becoming aware, see, one of the greatest things in the EMC is when I come to you, I'm also getting more aware, no? what I'm doing. So two things happen. One, when I have already experienced something in the morning or some insight, which I have, and I'm sharing it with you, right? And then we are following a process of co-discovery. This program is not about, I will tell you something more. It's co-discovery. These conversations are meant for all of us, including me, to discover another aspect of life, another facet that we might have been missing. So thank you, sir. And Malika ji, your question is the last one. Then we will have the Shairi from Kunen. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, my question is, we are uh, now here talking about stop judging others. But how to stop judging us that is from others? That is others' point of view. They are judging us. How to stop that? Okay. So that was also answered in one of the sessions. See, you cannot stop anybody from judging you. But you can be in a state where that judgment does not affect you. See, their judgments are some words that they are speaking. Only when you accept those words in your head, then you will be affected. No, Malika ji? So when somebody is giving a judgment to you, and the way you are listening to it is, okay, okay, that's a very interesting point of view that they have. So somebody's judgment is only a very interesting point of view that they have. Then will it affect you? Will you buy that judgment? Will you accept that judgment? No, if it is not uh, correct, then if it is not the right judgment, then how do you? You're not even listening to me. Malika ji, I said that if somebody is saying something which is judgment, okay? Yeah. And you are listening to that judgment is, okay, okay, that's an interesting point of view this person is having. Then will it affect you? No, no, it won't. You're not accepting judgment. You're only saying, all right. Sometimes I even tell the person, I will say, okay, wow, that's great. You've got a very interesting point of view. Thank you for sharing it. It's clear. It's his point of view. Okay. I do not accept that point of view. And I might also accept, okay. okay, let me look into this. See, you don't blanketly cut out everything what somebody says, no? You'll say, okay, that's a very interesting point of view. Is there something I can get out of it? Yes, okay, fine, I'll take it. No, I will not take it. It's his point of view. And Malika ji, it's useful that we get other people's point of view also, no? Yes. Yes. We don't have to accept every point of view. We don't have to get emotionally upset. You Sir, I not. Okay. So that's it. Then Kunen Saab, I think Kuldeep Ji anybody. I do not know what has happened. He has not been coming for a few days. I hope he is well. So let's have the Shairi from you. And yesterday, Vetri will promise to Turukural. So let him do that first. Yeah, Vetri Ji. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vetri for Tamil Shairi. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I would love to do it. Just a second. But we are, have to look at you like this now. Uh, now it's okay. <laughs> it's a fine, sir. <laughs> This goes this way, which is so favorite to me, which suits the occasion. Thirukural goes this way. Kaimanu venda kalapadu marimattu ennaattu kollu ulladu. 
the explanation goes this way in english duty demands no recompense to clouds of heaven by men on earth what answering gift is given in a simple words you get rain what can you do back to it <laughs> you can yeah, just enjoy the rain all right good thank you so much thank you much donald sir thank you sir thank you atri good good so every day you have to say something right जनाब मैंने अर्ज किया है आपके लिए तो चाहूंगा कि तेरी तेरी किस्मत का लिखा तुझसे कोई ले नहीं सकता शायद सर चले गए तो अर्ज किया हजरात तवज्जो चाहूंगा कि तेरी किस्मत का लिखा तुझसे कोई ले नहीं सकता अगर भरोसा है खुदा पर अगर भरोसा है खुदा पर तो तुझे वो भी मिल जाएगा जो तेरा हो नहीं सकता आधा वर्ष दोबारा कहता हूं कि तुझे तेरी किस्मत का लिखा तुझसे कोई ले नहीं सकता अगर भरोसा है खुदा पर तो तुझे वो भी मिल जाएगा जो तेरा हो नहीं सकता रतन सर टू हेल्प Rajan ji you are done mute please okay i'll i'll try my best okay whatever is uh, written in your destiny you will get it but uh, if for god willing whatever you want uh, i mean even if it is not in your destiny god will give you yes yes beautiful thank, thank you very much thank you. perfect sir one question can we take to vetri yeah vetri ask question to vetri <laughs> good morning pooja good morning <laughs> so the question is uh, sir is saying that we need to trust we need to be vulnerable but at times when we are holding too much of like hurt hurt from one particular person or the experience <laughs> it's very difficult to be vulnerable because we want to really uh saving ourselves from that much of hurt and pain so how to go about it uh we will have a detailed discussion about it but i want to say one word don't get into the topic and try to be vulnerable vulnerable means starting with the attitude like i heard it it it, it gives me wonderful clarity it says this way whatever you say after i am is a lie now don't immediately get into i am power i am energy so don't get into that modality whatever you say i am hurt i am angry i am weak i am limit or i can't whatever you say after i am is lie start from there because you have great power in you then vulnerability will start to work on it you are getting my point you are getting into the transaction and trying to be vulnerable don't go just treat it from outside the whole issue is a lie then what you will do just think about it laugh at it just i just want you to little contemplate the statement because it is just little heavy Yes, you will not give power to that situation because whatever you say after i am is a lie with that we'll close the session it has been a wonderful discussion and great seeing all the energetic people in the morning let's meet tomorrow and people who are watching in the youtube please like comment and share let us spread the good word to the world thank you very much i love you all Thank you sir the hollow is like really really <laughs> great you are shining like anything Thank you, Pooja. It's all because of all of us. Thank you very much. I am shining because you, because of you. <laughs> And Ratan sir is also shining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. And uh, Nitiji, can you just stop recording? You are the host. <laughs>